Hello and welcome to the D2L Basics tutorial for uh, using D2L at ESU. To access D2L, you'll want to go to the ESU homepage, which is esu.edu, and then select the D2L link up at the top. It will take you to this page where you can log in using the same information that you use for your ESU email. When you get logged in, you'll see a home page that looks like this. It has this menu across the top here. The home button will bring you back to this page. This ESU logo will take you to the ESU web page. This grid icon allows you to search for courses. These three icons here are for any of your uh, notifications. And then this is where you go to access your account and your settings. In this first area labeled My Courses is where any of your pinned courses will show up. If you scroll down, there will also be this news area, which shows any important information that are going out to the university community as a whole. To access your courses in D2L, you'll use this My Courses area of your home screen. Your pinned courses will show up at the top, or you can click View All Courses to access all the courses that you're enrolled in. When you're in your course listing, you have the ability to search for courses. You can also, again, view your pinned courses and any unpinned courses that you might be enrolled in. If you want to pin a course, there are two ways to do it. You can hover over this three dot icon, click that and select pin, or you can pin a course by going back to your homepage, clicking on this grid icon, searching for the course and using the pin icon that shows up next to it. That will also add it to your pinned courses. So this is the default layout for a course in D2L. Some courses may look different than this because they are customizable, so faculty can add certain widgets and other information areas that they want to. It has the course name, there's a calendar, there's a news area for any important news and announcements, and then down at the bottom there is a support widget that has all of the information you would need if you're having any issues with D2L, and you can contact D2L support using that information. So for this main navigation bar, the course home will take you back to the home page of the course. The content link will take you to any of the course content. It has things like the syllabus, the course agenda, and other important content information about the course. In the resources tab, you'll see things like the course calendar, any course checklists, glossary of important terms, things like that that are important to the course. In the communication tab, you'll be able to view any of the important communication aspects of the course. For example, blogs, chats, discussions, groups, and news. The assessment tab is where you will go to access the different types of assessment for the course, things like drop boxes, quizzes, as well as your grades for the course. Some of your courses will use this ePortfolio option, which creates a digital collection of projects you've completed during your coursework. So this was just a quick walkthrough of some of the basic features of D2L. If you do run into any issues, you can access the support windows through D2L and the Center for Teaching Technology will assist you and provide any support that is necessary. Thanks for watching.